everyone, Sarah from Margin here to talk about our new scale trading strategy. So let's click on the add new strategy icon, choose scale trading and create. In the chart, we see a number of visualized parameters. We see the starting price for the buy, the scale interval, which says how much distance there is between scale orders, the gain order sell price, which determines the effective gain interval for each buy sell cycle, and this red line, which shows how much funds you are allocating to the bot. And all of these are adaptable. So over in our parameter settings, we see that we are in a buy configuration. First, we can set the buy price for the first order. And here we can set the number of scale orders. By default, that is four. Let's make it six. And then you see in the chart the extra lines. Next, we can set a single order amount. And then we can set the total amount we want to allocate to the bot which visualizes how long the bot will stay active before its allocated funds run out. So we can see in here, this setting, that is 27 orders. It's also very important to note that this bot doesn't reserve funds. So be careful to not over allocate to too many bots. All right, let's go back to our 10 minute candle so we can see our lines a bit more. By default, the buy price is around the spread. But I can set the buy interval by dragging this second line. I can also see by default an effective gain of 0.1%. But I can adapt this too. I can grab the gain order sell price and adapt it, which also adapts the effective gain amount. As I adapt this, I can see all four sell lines are moving. So there is a sell order for every buy order, and this shows what gain percent we get for each buy sell cycle. Next, I can I have a couple of gain options. You can either just take the profit, or on the buy side, you can add the profit to the total allocated amount which means the bot can stay active for longer. I can also adapt the scale interval to either be equidistant or Fibonacci. It's also possible to set up stop loss, which offers protection up to the amount you have allocated to the bot. All right. I'm going to set the buy price so that the order will immediately go through. So when I press start, I expect this order to go through, which it does here. And it's now filled. The bot then places the corresponding sell order to achieve the gain we requested. And then it places the other five orders and then another buy order to ensure that it has six active orders. If the next order fills, then we will get the next sell order at this line, and then another buy order will be placed. All right, maybe we don't know which way the course will go. So we may want a bot on both sides of the spread if we have enough funds there. So we can set up another bot but this time starting with a cell. I'll set a single amount, an allocated amount. Oh, and we can just see that one of my bots just had a trade go through. All right, so we just set up our allocated amount, and then I can also set up stop loss on the cell side. And then I click Start, and I immediately see my orders are placed. If you place a bot on both sides, it allows you to react to whichever way the market moves. All right, let's 
take a look at a bot I had running on Poloniex. Here, I had two bots running. And right away, you can see that it executed many trades while following the fluctuation of the course. This is visualized nicely. And Poloniex is currently running a special with 0% fees, which I can set within margin. A byproduct of this bot is the ability to set a large number of limit orders. So maybe I want to set 10 orders. So I will set a single amount, set this to 10, allocate some funds, and then I'll press start. Move my order price down a bit. All right, after I press start, I see that immediately my 10 orders are placed. Next, I'll stop the bot and I will choose to cancel none. And now my active orders are on the chart. All right. Thanks for checking out our newest scale trading bot. Happy trading, everyone.